<laughs> I just wanted to keep this on you and see what you were gonna do. Just make it awkward. Just make it as awkward as possible. Hey you guys, welcome back to the vlog. We are starting today's vlog off the same way as last time, in the middle of the day, in the middle of a makeover. So at this point, you guys should have seen Luke's bedroom. Bed is not made, of course, but it's still done. We are loving his room. Noah's room is gonna be next. But right now we are in the middle of Liam's room and I will show you guys because you should have seen that video yesterday if you haven't. I'll have it linked down below, but it'll be over on the other channel. So far we've done quite a lot in here, but we actually have to run out to Hobby Lobby and also Walmart to get some frames for digital download things that I ordered. And I'm thinking I want to put his name up here, like in big letters. So that's what I have to run to Hobby Lobby for. And then, I don't know, there's just like a few other little random things. This is like the aftermath to a makeover and I feel like it's not even that terrible, but there's just like stuff all outside the rooms that we're working on. It just never fails. Like the makeover room itself looks amazing. Everywhere else, trashed and then you're just like busy with this and so you don't even get like your normal household stuff done. Anyway, we are going to head out and we figured we would take you guys along with us and just show you a little bit of like the behind the scenes of the makeovers. Oops, old blankets drying on the <laughs> railing. Let's head off to, oh, here's my list. We're gonna head off to Hobby Lobby. Maybe stop at Walgreens because they are the ones who are printing the printouts. And then I think just Walmart. And I think that is all we need to do today. I don't even know what time it is, but hopefully, what time is it? 11.31. 11.30, we've been busy all day. So we do have a few hours until the boys get home, thankfully. So hopefully we can get everything done and mostly finish or finish Liam's room today. They have their Christmas stuff out already. Look at that tree, so tall. These are the ones that we have, or we have like one for each of the boys from their last rooms. We're gonna use these in Noah's room. Are you wanting to do the same one in Liam? I don't know, I'm wondering if we like could paint any of this, like black, to kind of make it a little more different. I mean, you could, you just have to tape off in here. See, I already have this one for See, Liam. See, if you just taped it, then you could could paint it black but that would that give it, make it stand out more. that would give it a different look than Noah's right I would think so yeah I 
Show me your magic trick. Yellow. <laughs> this is that why it takes work. us so long at stores. <laughs> ah, there we go. It's blue now. Back to yellow. Liam would love that. All right, the next place we're running into is Michael's. Hopefully that wind isn't too loud for you guys. But we want to put like a chalkboard across from Liam's bed on that blank wall and then like a few little prints. So Michael's had a good chalkboard and it was a good deal. So we're heading in there now. All right, that's the one. This is the one we are getting. I think that'll look nice. I like the, the paint color on it or yeah, stain color. Like has a much better border. Right. We yeah, yeah, we found one at Hobby Lobby, but it was like unfinished wood on the outside. And this one's actually like two dollars cheaper. So that would be great. Boom shocky locky. I need to get your opinion on paintings. Okay, so I wanna do the the chalkboard on the bottom. Okay. And then I wanna put like three pictures on top of it. Okay. Okay, so there's this one. So I just picked three of these like controller things. Okay. And then. I like those, those are good. Okay. It's pretty neat, they're just like very simple, which I kind of like the subtleness of them. Okay. The other option is these three. So this loading one with these. I think I like the other ones. I think yeah. they're more simple. Okay. Yeah, I That's think I like the other ones too. When do they ship though? Well, they're just all digital, so I just we just have to. Oh, just have them printed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I okay. think that would be cool. I think I prefer the first ones. If we want any others like mixed in, like on his, I wonder if we won't really want any other pictures anywhere. Because I'll have. I think those, that would be good. I'll have those books. I think that would be plenty. If you did the chalkboard and the few pictures on the blank wall, I think that would be it. I think we're good to go. All right. So maybe we'll just do just that then. Okay. Okay. All right. Sounds good. That's not. Oh yeah, that's super cute too. I saw that before. Oh, I purchased it. Oh, maybe I already bought stuff. <laughs> Did you... <laughs> you bought it already? I was thinking I bought some, and I was like, no, they're not shipping. Delivered. Delivered. Oh. Where's it at? Well, they're just pictures. Okay. So those are. Oh, cool. you mean like you digitally bought I them? I digitally bought them. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so I did buy that one. So actually, that one is cool. Remember? Okay, that one is cool. And then, so I do have that. So that's. So I need to buy. I I, had, I wanted to look because <laughs> okay. I needed to figure out how many frames. So, one, two, three of the eleven by fourteen. Okay. And then, like roll blocks. It's kind of cute. Okay. That could be kind of cool. Yeah, I like that one too. Okay, so then just two eight by ten. All right, and then I have to do put in an order, but that goes pretty quick through Walgreens. Yeah, but that's it for frames, right? That's it. Awesome. All right, we can go ahead. And All right. Oh, and we want to get that the lava lamp. We found out we found there was a lava lamp at Walmart. Hopefully, it's in stock. But that's pretty gamer. They had some at Home Depot, which I thought was super weird. Yeah, they did have some. How there. random is that? Home Depot and Lowe's come up with the most random stuff sometimes. Yeah, they do have some super random things. All right, All right. let's head in. One, two, three, break. All right, it is saying that it's on aisle K18, but this is like nothing but movies. So it's not where it's supposed to be or not where it's saying it is. So we are going to have to just snoop around and see if we can find it. Color Kyle found that. Out. It's like a color changing salt lamp. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool. They don't have the lava lamp in stock. I was looking on the website and I guess that doesn't update as fast as the app or something, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and grab picture frames. Kyle grabbed some light bulbs and the power strip that he needed or something. And then I think other than just ordering the things from Walgreens, the prints, then we should be good do you need the flat extension cord thing or something for oh something yeah else? i need to look for a flat extension cord so yeah. i'll go over there and look at that too whatever that means if you guys are doing collages and stuff these are so like such good deals like it's 250 they're not like anything crazy 
as far as like fanciness, but they work and they actually look really nice and just very simple. All right, we are back home. We have some things that we were spray painting earlier, but I have to do another coat on the shelves like this that we're gonna go in Liam's room. This is the original color they were, is like this wood. Pretty cool, but we're gonna paint him black because he has like so many wood items in his room just to kind of tie in the black on his bed and just kind of give it a little bit of a difference just because I feel like there's becoming like too much wood. So we're gonna go ahead and spray paint these and then we'll head back upstairs and get as much done as we can before the boys get home from school. Mistakes haunt us, but do they really daunt us? Your tongue can be sharp, cut me close to the heart. But we can master the art, and the thing is that these scars. Kyle is just changing out the bulb because we had like a hundred watt one, yeah, and this is got... a hundred watt. This is a forty watt, so yeah. Should we... And it's on a dimmer, but the hundred watt even dimmed is too bright for me. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna try it 40 watt, which should should work a lot better. Yeah. Because you don't really need it bright, it's more just a night light, you know? Right. Okay, so let's just check these up here and see if we need to paint them. I mean, we can still like attach them to the wall, but like, would it be a good idea to like rest them oh, or put them up? Actually. You know what I mean? Actually, I think this looks pretty good. What you could do if you set them here, you just put a command strip command on the strip, back right. and just bam, and then it won't fall down. Right. Obviously, we need to work on the spacing here a little bit, but. Move the M, just pull the M over the same Which distance way? your way. This way? Yeah. More, more, more. More, 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 more. Yeah. Okay. And like it's not quite centered, but it's right. good. Like, do you like it sitting on this strip? Yeah. Or like this? So Noah's will be like this, because yeah. Noah's isn't going to have the... I don't know. Why don't I hold it up? Okay. You're the... Designer. You're the designer here. Okay. Well, I like it. Honestly, I think I think we should just do it like that. Yeah, at least yeah. for now, for sure. That would be a time saver, too. I'm sure you all will already, but please comment below and let us know what you think would be best. Because we, we had this one like it is, or those put up, or uh, paint the brown part of the letters black. in black. Yeah, or we can put them up here. Yeah. I think I like it just like that. It looks nice. Yeah. Shelf turned out good, wall turned out good. I do it just like that. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so I think we'll do like the chalkboard, you know, maybe like that, so he can write on it. Right. And then like boom, boom, boom. I think that's a great idea. I want to keep this wall like pretty simple just so it's not like so much going on. Right. But if you're sitting over on the bed, like this will be his view. Nothing. Yeah, we probably do need to do something with it. And it's a pretty it's good size wall. Huge, like it's literally his biggest wall. Yeah. There's just nothing on it. Can you see what's up? Oh, he's like, can I get on that shelf? <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm sure Felix has been up there. Yeah, meow, meow, meow. Yes, hello. It has been a few days walking out of Noah's room. We haven't done a whole lot in there, but we have gotten a bit done. Here's Luke's room. That makeover is already over on this Crazy Life channel. And we finished Liam's. So if you guys haven't seen those yet, definitely check them out. We are on day two of Noah's bedroom makeover. And it's been a couple days since we've vlogged. We are headed out because we really need to get some stencil paint. We are actually about to, that's kind of like the next step in his bedroom is stenciling on the wall. I'm doing it again, but this time we're gonna try painting it instead. Good morning. <laughs> you know what we have to do before we go is clean the pool filters again. Oh. I just did that about an hour ago and it's already fogged up. Yeah, there was like a bad storm here. 
We were actually had to cut filming short yesterday because of the storm. Like so many branches and so many trees went down in the neighborhood that we saw. Thankfully, our trees didn't fall down. Look at the mess but made out here. This is October in Arizona. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, 81 degrees. Really yeah, it's actually cooled down a lot from the storm. So I just did this like an hour ago. Looks like this one's not too bad, but that one's gonna be the bad one. I've never walked back there because I'm so afraid of scorpions. There is nasty stuff back here. There used to be, let me turn this pump off. There used to be a huge Palo Verde tree that hung out over our pool equipment here and it all fell into the wash, as you can see, the whole thing. The tree just snapped in half, and it all fell in, and then, you know, these branches we gotta clean up, and I mean, there's there's dozens of trees down, it, just in the neighborhood, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah, so Kyle's on pool duty today, getting the pool all cleaned up, kind of like whenever we have an extra moment. Anyway, so we are going to go get that stencil paint, and then we're gonna jump back into Noah's makeovers. It's been like, days and days of filming like back to back to back but gosh this is so i don't even think you guys can see but there's just like leaves and branches everywhere it's just been like a lot of back to back filming but we have luke's room done we have noah's room done or no we have luke's room done liam's room done we're going to hopefully finish noah's room today if not today then definitely tomorrow morning but fingers crossed we can finish it today and then we'll be done with the boys rooms and every time we do these makeovers, it just like motivates us to continue on transforming our house because you guys know it was a lot different when we first moved in than it is now that we've gotten like several spaces done. So let's go ahead and head to the store. I didn't think that there were people. That was the most <laughs> awkward thing. Like there were landscapers there and we were trying to get the tree and we're just driving by with the camera. They're, they were like, what are you They're like, what? I know, Sorry. I totally didn't know they were like gonna be right there. I thought they were like gonna be in the background and then they just are like right next to their truck. But <laughs> yeah. yeah, I wanted to show you guys this one cause we went on a little walk last night to see where, or I guess maybe we drove by to see like what the neighborhood was like with all the trees down. And that tree that we just kind of showed, that one actually covered their entire driveway. Like it yeah. was a huge, huge tree. Yeah. It was so big, but. Been nothing but chainsaw sounds all yeah. morning. There's so many trees knocked over. Yeah, and there's like a lot of landscaping trucks and like a lot of tree down yeah. cutting trucks, whatever. Tree down cutting trucks. Tree cutting down trucks. Tree <laughs> cutting down trucks. <laughs> I'm not the best with words, but you know what I mean. We were looking, because we have a few big trees in our yard, which is like the first house we've ever had that has. I know, we've planted so many trees and we've never lived somewhere long enough to see them get mature. Yeah. Did we plant any in South Dakota? Um, no, actually, that's the only one we didn't plant yeah, any trees, we I don't think. going to, but didn't happen. We had no trees on that entire property, didn't no. we? No. That's how we, we know zero. Yeah. when we find our house, usually, is there's zero landscaping. And no trees. And no trees. And the, and front, door the front door doesn't work right. Like, our, I, I don't think we've ever lived in a house where our front door was, like, a normal, easy open. No. Even our house here, it's like, you have to like yank on it. There's always something wrong with it. And no matter how many times you fix it, it yeah. just is always constantly, I just give it up. Yeah. That's how our door is. I, I'm pretty sure you fixed this door once and I it went back. I fixed our front door so many times. Yeah. Oh, there's another one over there. Yeah, look at these. Yeah, we were looking as the oh, wind was going. Man, we were so, problem. like we were just fingers crossed that our trees didn't go down.
Okay, we are back home and we ended up getting Benjamin Moore Charcoal Slate. So it's this color. And we kind of went back and forth and if we would just need a sample size, but we ended up deciding that we just really wanted to get like this Regal Select. It's the, like the thickest paint we've ever used. And so because we're kind of messy with the stencil, we just wanted to make sure that it would not bleed out. And so we figured the thicker the paint, the better. So we got this one and we got it in a pearl finish because the walls are eggshell and we wanted to have this have a little bit of extra gloss just because I think that'll kind of look pretty cool. So we are going to go ahead and get started. Get your little tape measure. How cool is that? This cute, tiny little tape measure. So I always keep a tape measure in my purse and I don't know what happened to my the one I had. So we saw this little guy and I got it to put in my purse <laughs> because <laughs> I'm always like out at stores like, oh, I have to measure this and check it out but this is gonna be the color we'll use and it's just going to go up against the black and I'm really hoping that the stencil will work without bleeding because when we did my sister's uh, guest bedroom, I used like a thousand stencil or a thousand paint pens <laughs> to get it done. That's but not even exaggerating. One, not even exaggerating, one it was literally 1,000. It also took 100 days to do it, so. <laughs> it was a thousand pens in 100 days. <laughs> And it was worth it, believe it or not. <laughs> 10 pens a day, is that what it was? Is that the math? I think so. No, it would only be 10 days. No, 10 times. If it took 100 days oh, and right. used 10 pens a day, that's 1,000. Yeah. Yeah, she yeah. had the zero. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we need to work on our kids' homework more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we need to do their homework for ourselves. Anyway, but last time we didn't end up painting because I saw some bad reviews, but I think that this should work better because at my sister's house it was like a white wall with black so there was like no room for air whereas this is going to be a dark gray on a black wall so I think it'll allow me a few mistakes but hopefully there won't be many so anyway we are getting a little bit of a late start because we had that running to do this morning um, and a few other things to figure out but we are going to work on Noah's room wish us luck Here's the moment of truth. <laughs> yeah, I really hope this works out because it'll be really cool. If not, we can just repaint it and it'll be... If you are gonna have to move, mister. Well, yeah, you can just this always paint over it. Always in the way. Always, okay. Oh, I do not like this. <laughs> just do it, just moment of truth, just do it. <laughs> if not, then we'll just paint it black and get black. Yep. Looks like it's working. I bet that, no, it's gonna work out great. So? I feel good about it. Yeah, right. it's gonna be good. And to think, all you have left is this entire wall. Yeah, I was planning originally to do literally the entire wall, so I'm glad we decided against that. It's crazy. All right, we'll I have to go get a switch from Home Depot. Okay. <gasps> <gasps> It almost spilled all the paint. <laughs> oh, all right. man. We're off to a good Okay, start. are you sure you don't want me to stay? Yeah. I'll You're be, positive? I'll be good. Okay. All right, all right I'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay. All right, you guys. It's been, I don't even know how many days, like maybe one, maybe two, since we finished all of the makeovers. It's been such a blur, but it does feel so good to have all the room makeovers done. 
Oh, somebody's at the door. Somebody's at, at the, the door. door. Okay, so All right, sorry. Noah's friend just got here, so um, I don't even know what I was saying. It's just been such like so many busy days, but it does feel so good to have all their rooms done and like putting them to sleep. It's just so peaceful up there. It makes us so excited to do like the loft area. Of course, you guys know we have to do their bathrooms. So Luke and Noah still have like the Jack and Jill bathroom that is very, very, very pink. The one by Liam's room is I think green. And then we have one in the theater room area and that one's like really intense green. So the bathrooms upstairs are really rough. We gotta do those for sure. Hopefully that will be coming pretty soon, but it just feels so nice to have everything done. But we are just like so exhausted and wiped out now because it's been like days of like morning to night filming and working on things, running errands, like doing all this stuff for the makeovers, but it is just so worth it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed hanging out with us and just seeing like a little bit of behind the scenes of the makeovers. I don't even know what we're gonna be vlogging next. Probably some more behind the scenes of <laughs> like some house projects that we have coming up and you know, just whatever we have going on. I don't even know, I have to look at a calendar, but there's always something going on, always. Are you guys gonna go swimming? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Liam and his friend are gonna go swimming. Probably this is like the last week that we can actually swim here without heating the pool and it's very expensive to heat the pool so we pretty much don't <laughs> heat the pool but they're gonna swim for a little bit it is crazy here because it's technically the beginning of october and i don't know if i would like to go in the pool quite yet but like the kids have no problem with it still anyway I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us. Make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss out on future videos. And of course, if you guys have any suggestions of like different vlogs you wanna see or different things that you wanna see on the channel, definitely let us know in the comments. Thanks so much for hanging out with us and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys. I think they're deciding it actually might be too cold <laughs> to swim.